Hey, Cody guys, you're not going to want to miss this. This is our all new intercooler for the Holly High Ram and it's rated up to 2500 horsepower. Manifold mounted air water intercoolers are super popular right now uh, and it's because of the benefits. So easier to package, uh, less turbo piping running around under your hood. You don't have a large air to air up in the grill. You're not having to cut the car up to mount one of those in the, the front bumper area. If you want one of these setups and you don't have the manifold, there's big savings to be had by buying a combo deal from us. So when you guys receive your intercooler for the Coyote High Ram, uh, it's gonna come like this. It's kind of in a pre-assembled state, uh, mainly for shipping purposes, so we don't have to divide it up into two different boxes. Uh, but it'll come wrapped in plastic. Um, Obviously, you're just going to pull it out of the plastic. Set the hardware aside. And uh, you can see that it has this, the spacer is bolted to the cooler itself. Um, and it's using four of the actual uh, mounting bolts that, that come with the, with the assembly to mount it to the manifold. Four of those bolts and nuts. Uh, and you're just going to pull the nuts off and save the bolt because you need that for the actual installation process. Uh, and the nut, you can you know, you keep that, put it in your toolbox, toss it, whatever you want to do, because they're not actually needed for the install of the intercooler. So let's talk about this high ram from Holly. Uh, this manifold presents a few extra challenges that we've never faced with some of the other manifolds that we make intercoolers for. Uh, so if you take your lid off, you can see that the runners themselves stick up above the mounting flange of the lid itself. And that's to get the proper runner length that Holly wanted for this manifold. That created a unique challenge in getting the intercooler to clear those runners. So we had a couple of ideas behind how we wanted to do that. And ultimately we settled on making a spacer. Um, and this is just kind of a, a bit of an illustration to show how that works. So this is one of our 3D printed initial models of how we were going to do this. And what we did is made a spacer that is an inch and three quarter thick. The runners are about that. They're a little less than that as far as how much they actually protrude above this flange. Uh, we added a little bit extra height for any kind of casting differences. One of the reasons that we decided to do a spacer instead of incorporating it into the intercooler is made it easier to make the intercooler itself uh, because the parts we were actually machining for the intercooler were then reduced in size. It saved a little bit of time on production and it, it made it easier on the assembler to actually put this together because uh, if you start putting a lot of those big heavy parts together it starts getting a little you know cumbersome to move it around. Now we have a spacer that anybody can buy if they have a Coyote high ram and they want to add plenum volume, so a lot of higher RPM builds, NA builds, alcohol builds, anything could benefit from more plenum volume and more opening around the runners themselves. So I know one of the complaints people have had with seeing the runners stick above the manifold flange is, boy, this thing's going to be really tall. And you're right, it does add height, but with the way that we manufacture our intercoolers, we try to take some of that height away. We try to, to mitigate how much we're adding. In doing so, um, we're going we're gonna to set this thing together. Um, the spacer, you know, it goes on and that adds an inch, uh, inch and three quarter height uh, right off the bat. And then our intercooler, which uses a four and a half inch thick core, it's still only going to add four inches of height because we were able to take a half an inch of, of intercooler and either lower it into the base or raise it into the lid like we do with some of our other intercoolers. At the end of the day, when this thing's all put together, It's about 14 inches height from the flange in the rear, uh, 15 at its peak, which is about right in here, and then it's just over 13 and 5 eighths uh, at the throttle body flange from the base up. Because of the fact that the high ram is technically a little shorter anyway, because of the way that it mounts, and because of the uh, inlet style where it has the oval throttle body, the overall height is actually going to be a little lower than what you see on a lot of the LS cars. So this intercooler, Knowing that we were going to have to add the spacer, knowing that it was going to add height no matter what, we decided to go with a big core to produce as much heat as possible. And this thing is actually rated for up to 2,500 horsepower. Plenty of capability, capability of flow, capability of cooling capacity, a great size core. 
As you probably noticed, if you've seen any of our other intercoolers, is that we don't have an outlet or inlet on this side on the back. The reason for that is because we wanted to add as much core to this thing as we possibly could and still be able to maintain our, our height requirements that we did have. Laying it out that way, we did not have enough room to add another fitting to the back without sacrificing horsepower capability of this core. So going by the way that we recommend plumbing these intercoolers, we have two inlets on the front that are dash 16 ORB and we like to flow the water to the rear. So at the rear we have one dash 16 ORB outlet. So you can make your inlet connection on either side, but the outlet has to come out of this side or the passenger side in most cases on the back. Pay attention because this part is very important. I want to talk about the hardware for the cooler kit just a minute. Uh, it has three different link fasteners. Uh, as we said before, the spacer itself is going to come pre-installed onto the cooler. Uh, it's going to use four of what we're calling the medium length fasteners. So there's a short, medium, and a long fastener. Uh, you're going to save the four fasteners that it was put together with again. All of the medium length fasteners are to attach the bottom portion. So all of your medium lengths will either go up through into the cooler in the front or they'll go down through the side uh, and into the lower on the bottom portion of the intercooler. The short fasteners are for the lid mounting to this upper part of the intercooler. Again, the three in the front will come from underneath and then the sides will be from the top bolting the lid down to the core itself. And then it'll also include three of these really long fasteners. These are for the holes that are in the back. So there's three holes in the back that run from the lid all the way down to the base and that's what these three are for. And we do have recommended torque specs for these on our website. Again, Team Tech members get discounts on thousands of products including this intercooler. All these parts are machined in-house American made materials, uh, American workers making these parts, um, ultra precision machines that we use to machine these parts, that way there's uh, very tight tolerances, there's no differences in heights, everything seals nicely, locking o-ring grooves as always on both the spacer and the intercooler itself, American manufactured core, you know, 100% American made.